Okay, so on today's video we're gonna change the uh, air cylinders, air cylinder valves uh, o-rings and the reason for this one is because one of the o-rings was too old and it blew out so I can show it you know in greater detail here so maybe you can just see it there in the middle maybe not maybe it's a better to yeah better in this one so yeah there you can see it in the middle it's all knurled up there and we just need to replace it so yeah let's start out the work as per usual by making the air cylinder safe and that means of there's that little screw and we just have to open it up and degas the air degas the air cylinders let's do that okay. And there it starts to little by little, little by little go lower. Take off the uh, moderator. So now it's all got in itself emptied. It's always really handy this kind of a magnetic tool you can pick them up without letting them fly off into the oblivion so now we've double checked that the uh, pressure is zero 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 and now we can just lift it up on the menu we have taking off the uh, loosening, loosening the grub screws for the air cylinder Let's take the little 
barrel band off. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. So there, there you can see it flew off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this one up with a And blue tabs. They don't make any fuzzies or anything, so I'm just gonna take a couple of pieces and give it a good cleaning. Yeah, so there's the other piece of the oil ring. And uh, when you're cleaning this one, you can always order the spare path o-rings from o-ring store and i'll have a link in the description what size it is and then i'll also put into the link the other o-rings you need so you can refurbish this whole thing if you need to but i'm just gonna change this o-ring because it's just a few weeks ago uh installed the uh regulator for this cylinder and then I had the new o-rings o-rings for for this one and should be okay the reason why this broke was that uh, it was moving a little bit on the action so remember always to tighten the uh, grub screws properly so we got this one here du -du -du. maybe we should Put it here and don't touch the uh, this pin. Try to get it over over without touching touching it because it's seating all nicely now. And then we take a little bit of a O-ring tool pick. And then we're just gonna ease it in, hopefully. My finesse is sufficient, so... There we go! So, now it's there. Now we just give it a little bit of o-ring grease, lubricate, lubrication. Here. Okay. So both of them, and then we're gonna give it a nice sheen. Take the excess off. Like that. Next on the menu is we're gonna install this back. Okay. There we go. Okay, and the thing to check now is that it doesn't move when you're turning it. So, as you can see, I didn't tighten it enough. So, what we're gonna do is just gonna.
Okay, so now it's not moving. Should be all lined up now. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna air it back up and uh, shoot some cleaning pellets through it. So that was it. It just needs to be tightened properly. And uh, yeah, remember that don't leave it too loose, otherwise, you might be in the danger of actually uh, damaging the other, other uh, o ring. When you're when you're using it when you're firing it, so that's what happened to me. So don't do that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now it should be all good. That's all all she wrote, so to say. Yeah, well, let's go and and uh, put this back together. Okay. Now we got tested it out, uh, we shot some cleaning pellets through it, so now it's time to do the assembly again and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it only takes a couple of minutes. So first the barrel band, barrel band uh, or whatever this is called. Let's Put this one together there. Okay, so that's there. Yep. Then, then it's the uh, interesting times. So that's all safe. Always the tricky part, and it went so easily. That's one. Okay, let's check that it's all backed up. So you can see it's not not yet there, so we have to do a little bit of there we go. There we go. So now you can see it's it's on the correct position. So that should do it. That's snug. That's snug. Alrighty, now we just attach the moderator, tattoo back in its place, 
and then we're good to go. There is the bucker. Oh, okay, so it's always good to check that uh, it works. But not to safety, and it seems that it was not the stock on the bottom. something funky going on now. Something funky. Okay, it's a little bit tighter now. Now another try. Still feels that it's kind of high, I wonder why. <laughs> okay, well, it's as good as we can get it now. Off to the range.